Another contributing and important factor in the state of education today is the myriad of elected officials. Any elected officials here? Thank you for being here. Elected officials and agencies that stifle innovation and creativity. They are the source of well-intentioned statutes, policies, regulations, and proscriptions, all of which tie the hands of imaginative teachers, creative principals, and entrepreneurial superintendents. Wherever there's a perceived need, bureaucrats and elected officials establish more requirements, establish more standards, pass more laws, and demand more reports. Nationwide, the effect has been to drive up the cost of a K-12 education and to increase staffing levels, as we talked about. Yet none of these statutes, policies, regulations, or prescriptions has contributed to enhanced student learning outcomes. In fact, they've had the opposite effect. Public education in our country is characterized by a fragmented approach to leadership and decision making. There are too many cooks in the educational kitchen. For example, school principals have no control or little control over their workforce. Generally, they can neither hire nor fire teachers and staff because human resource decisions are above their pay grade. District offices are led by highly paid superintendents and other highly paid assistant superintendents. And in addition to HR functions, districts administer clerical, logistical, and academic aspects of the school. These include food service, transportation, contracting, legal support, budgeting, finance, payroll, and curriculum. School districts are governed by a maze of complex federal statutes and state policies and encumbered with extremely complex budgeting and finance regulations. Here in New Hampshire, for example, there are about 17 districts per county, each with on average fewer than three schools and less than 1,100 students per district. And each district has the extensive staff and performs the functions that I just mentioned. Now these districts are governed by school boards and in theory, boards establish broad policies that reflect the priorities of the local community. But in practice, school boards are usually focused on the operational aspects of their schools and in raising more money for the district. 